Hello, I'm here on Shared Seat on this busy Saturday afternoon. Rain's just stopped, so thought to get this video done. You see, regarding what is happening around us, for the better or for the worse, there is still an issue of cultural change to deal with here in our city. Cultural change is sweeping across Scouse communities more and more by the day. And if it's not stopped, like I've said, long term, we will indeed lose our unique Scouse character traditions and cultural identity. So given what has happened of late in Southport, County Road, Walton, many other places across the country, isn't it now the time to discuss more than ever the cultural transformation our city is undergoing and the message Joe Owens brings to the good people of Liverpool on a near daily basis, or should I say the awful truth. Yet, no one wants to discuss what is happening to our city. Let's just create an atmosphere of all right fear. Let's mask everything behind the atmosphere of far right fear. Let's forget all about what's happened to Kensington and Fairfield. Kensington and Fairfield. Cultural harmony, cultural enrichment. I don't know where you are. Does not uh, That's not an area of cultural enrichment, cultural uh, diversity, whatever word you want to use. It's cultural chaos. That's what it is. It's cultural chaos. That's what reigns there in Kensington and Fairfield. There is cultural chaos. There's not cultural enrichment. In fact, the complete opposite. So, given what is still happening to our city given Scouse communities are being changed culturally changed by the day isn't it the right time now to discuss this thorny issue instead of just ignoring it brushing it under the carpet pretending it doesn't exist pretending the good people of Liverpool are just going to roll over and accept it. Like everyone else has where it's uh, changed their original communities into something completely different that will never, ever regain their former glory. Never, ever. The gone change, like I said, in London. Most, if not all, boroughs in London now will never regain their former cockney glory it's not happening it's gone and if we don't stop what is happening to our city we will go the same way therefore it's important that everyone raises the issue of cultural change on social media email the councillors or mp see what their opinion is, ask them where they stand and demand to know what they intend to do about it. If anything, are they just going to ignore it? Are they just going to encourage more or are they opposed to it? Because like I've said, if it's left unchecked, long term, we will indeed lose our unique Scouse character traditions and cultural identity. Not may, could, possibly, we will. We see it now happening along Breck Road, County Road, West Derby Road. Another uh, Smith Down Road, many other places in and around. The city after she is getting really, really busy. So, you see this cultural change now, sinking its roots in more and more Scouse communities. I uh, got the bus in today, 14, along Breck Road, and Breck Road is losing its unique Scouse Breck Road character. It's being replaced 
by something completely different. Right? That is evident for those who travel along Breck Road or those who live there, those that work there. Right? County Road, West Derby Road, Prescott Road, and as I said, Smithdown Road and many other proud scouts communities that are now being changed. So given what has happened Southport, across the country, wouldn't you think if ever there's a time to discuss cultural change, it would be now. If ever there was a time for Liam Thorpe to interview Joe Owens, it would be now. But no, silence, right? Well, all I can say is that you can remain silent, but you can't hide the cultural transformation underway. Everyone can see it. Everyone knows what is happening at the moment. Let's frighten everyone. Let's keep them in a state of uh, fear using the uh, far right bogeyman. But you can't continue with that. It's not going to last forever, that, right? It's got a short shelf life before the awful reality sinks in that our city is being culturally changed. And you can't get away from that, so you're going to have to deal with it, but you're not going to, are you? You're just going to ignore what is happening to our city. This isn't hatred or prejudice or far right to, to, uh, towards anyone, far from it, like I said. The black Chinese Hindu community, other communities here in Liverpool, they're part of our Scouts culture, great. And they have been for a hundred plus years. But what, is, what we're seeing now is totally different. Those coming in now are bringing, and in such large numbers, are bringing different ways, beliefs, value standards that are incompatible with our Scouts ways. Plus, they don't want to assimilate. They don't want to be part of our Scouts family. They want to impose theirs upon ours. And that is where, that's where the problem lies, ladies and gentlemen, right? You've only got to look at these other places around the country and you can see what's happened. We have the crystal ball. It would be foolish not to heed that warning. It would be reckless not to heed that warning. So we have the crystal ball. Let's make use of that. We know what's happened to other towns and cities. We know what's on the way and we know how it all ends up, right? Cultural chaos, like you see, in our Pear Hills, in Leeds and many other places that we now see taking shape in Kensington and Fairfield. I'm going to call time, ladies and gentlemen. It's really getting busy now. It's not that late. It's not, it's not is it now? Half past 12 in the afternoon. It's getting really busy. So I thought I'd get this video done because in case it starts raining again. And also, I think it's going to be another busy Saturday. So remember, no to cultural change. Yes to Scouts Pride. Shout it out loud, Scouts and Brown. Okay, thank you. Hello, I'm still here on Church Street. Sun's come out now. You see, I'd like to add, because there's well-meaning people in the city now talking about bringing people together, bringing communities together. I wholeheartedly agree. But how do you keep bringing communities together when you keep continually keep fracturing them with further cultural change? You see, the most best harmonious societies are those where everyone sings from the same hymn hym sheet. But that's not happening, is it? Kensington and Fairfield, is everyone singing from the same hymn sheet there? Well, the, an the answer is no, they're not, right? So you can have all these well-meaning uh, aspirations, dreams even, about bringing people together, bringing communities together, but you, you miss them. One massive point here is you can't bring people together who are coming into, uh, say, Kensington and Fairfield that don't have nothing in common with one another, let alone the host uh, Scouts community. So the simple answer to keep our city harmonious, I like it's been since I can remember without any mistrust, division, or parallel lives prevailing, like in Blackburn, Old and Burnley, many other places, is to keep our city scouts, right? That's the way to do it, is to keep our city scouts, where everyone's singing from the same 
pin sheet, but that seems to have escaped uh, these people's attention. They're oblivious to that. They haven't worked that one out. It's truly bizarre. Like I've said, how can you bring people and communities together when most coming into our city have got nothing in common with each other, let alone the host Scouts community? How are you bringing people together? All you're doing is fracturing uh, communities further and further, like what we see has happened in Kensington and Fairfield. Well, if you're planning on trying to bring Kensington and Fairfield people, residents, residents together, then good luck with that, right? Because that's not happening, right? It's like in Blackburn, right? Just Google it, Blackburn, Parallel Lives. They live in, they've lived parallel lives for decades and it's not changing because there's a culture clash, right? It's not happening. The simple, the best solution to this is to stop further cultural change, right? That's the best way to bring people together and have harmonious communities where everyone's singing from the same hymn sheet. Do you get me? So you can have all these well-intentioned uh, aspirations, dreams, whatever, but they won't come to fruition because nowhere else has been brought together where there's been cultural change. Have they? No, well, exactly. So that's the thing to do these politicians need to take note the answer is to stop any fair okay sir yeah the answer is to stop any further cultural change where everyone is singing from the same scouse hymn sheets that's the simple solution but like i say it seems to have escaped their attention no bright sparks amongst them is there so as i say the answer is to keep our city scouts right we all sing from the same hymn sheet while you're bringing unlimited amounts of new arrivals into our glorious city and in most cases have nothing in common with one another let alone their scouts hosts how would you intend to bring people together well you're not bringing them together so all that happens is there's more cultural change the original Scouse inhabitants will leave, like the Cockney inhabitants left, and that's that, right? And that is the end result of cultural change. So like I said, on a final note, the simple, practical solution to this is to stop with the cultural change. And there won't be any fragmentation, there won't be any division, mistrust or parallel lives, because everyone will still be singing from the same Scouse hymn sheet. Okay, thank you. Remember, no to cultural change. Yes to Scouse pride. Shout it out loud, Scouse and proud. Okay, thank you.